Hi, my name is Patrick. I'm going to show you how to set up Monkey to your offsite backup server. First thing is create a group. Rename it Backup of Books. The direction we're gonna sync with the backup server is called Oops, so it's just a name which is easy for us. We select when we want to make a backup. We want to do this every five days. Of course, you could also choose minutes, hours, or weeks. Next, the target. Well, we don't want to make a backup to the local disks, so we have to create a new target. Our target you can access by SFTP, so we choose SFTP location. We do not want to encrypt the files towards this location because we want to readable also from other SFTP uh, agents and requires username and password. Well, we fill in the details as in your welcome email which is SFTP backup EU2 which is our secondary backup server in Europe we have to fill in the SFTP port and the username also in your welcome email. Next, we have to fill in the username and password and we want to remember it because we want to make this an automatic backup which did run every five days. Next, we give the name, the name of the location. So this is our offsite backup server in Europe for account Patrick. Finish. And now we can select this location as a target. Finish. We open the group. You can see I already did put the books in there. I will remove it for a second. Too. Show you how it's done. We go to the C drive. Work. Move. Move it to backup. Oops. Now it's back in there. And we press run now. Now we'll see we have several files transferred because I already did this once and I said only do it with the modified files. So I say complete backups, run now, and it's making a complete backup of the files. What is happening now, why taking a bit longer as usual is because I added compression. And this means that every file which is in that directory we just placed in the to be backup files are going to be compressed. With zip. So what we find on a backup server if we would go and look is modem.pdf.zip, quick guide pdf.zip and street etc. Oh we can see also the difference because the backup I made before was uh, without compression. I did backup uh, about uh, 4 MB and now I did backup exactly the same files which is only 2.6, almost 3 to MB. So it's about 1 MB safe by using the SIP option. It gives you just some extra work when you want to restore the files because you have to decompress the files again. Well, thank you for listening. If you are interested in our backup servers, please check out www.parsingfold.com or check out our main website www.o40hosting.eu Thank you for listening and have a nice day.